Welcome back to Hypothetical Experiments, where imagination is the only limit. We're bringing you new videos regularly, so make sure you're subscribed. This is the mighty Bismarck. Built in 1940, it was the largest and most powerful European battleship of the time. This was an enormous battleship, crewed by thousands and bristling with massive guns. It could deliver terrible destruction and even turn the tide of history. But history is about to be turned indeed. So what would happen if we resurrected the Bismarck and put it to battle against a modern-day destroyer? Do you think it would stand a chance? Instead of resurrecting the Bismarck, why don't we transport a modern-day destroyer to World War II? It's May 1941. A two-ship German battle group, the Bismarck and Prince Eugene, attempt to break off into the Atlantic on their mission to attack Allied convoys. But they have no idea what is heading their way. A modern-day destroyer, the HMS Duncan, has been transported to 1941 to hunt down and destroy the Bismarck. So what do you think would happen at this point? Which one do you think will win? Drop your prediction in the comments right now and then find out at the end of the video if you are right. So let's dive into the video. The mighty Bismarck has a maximum combat displacement of 50,000 tons and up to 320 millimeters of armor. Its main weapons were four turrets, each with two massive guns, 380 millimeters in caliber. These could fire 800 kilogram projectiles over a distance of 36 kilometers. These would easily tear a destroyer apart if they hit. As secondary weapons, there were 12 150 mm guns built for sea warfare against destroyers of the time. It had 16 105 mm guns and 32 37 mm guns for anti aircraft warfare. The Bismarck had a maximum speed of 30 knots and a range of up to 8,000 miles. Now, this battleship was formidable, but in our alternate reality, this mighty battleship is about to see something it has never encountered before and something it was never meant to face, the HMS Duncan. The HMS Duncan is a Royal Navy Class 45 destroyer. Setting the ground for this epic fight, the HMS Duncan detects the Bismarck at a distance of over 300 kilometers with its Samson radar system, although the Bismarck could have no idea that it's being watched at this point. The Duncan would approach and monitor the Bismarck, but be very careful to stay out of the Bismarck's detection range, as it can't stand a single impact from the Bismarck's 800 kilogram projectiles. For sea warfare, the Duncan relies on Harpoon anti-ship missiles, which are fairly old anti-ship missiles, but have a range of up to 300 kilometers. So instead of all the ships and aircrafts it took to fight the Bismarck, the HMS Duncan goes against the Bismarck single-handedly. The Duncan locks onto the Bismarck from an incredible distance and launches its Harpoon anti-ship missiles. Battleships were designed like punching bags, and the Harpoon anti-ship missiles were not really built for that kind of armor. So it would score an impressive hit, but the Bismarck is not yet sunk. The Harpoon anti-ship missile would be practically the only weapon. The Duncan could look at approaching and using torpedoes, but that would be way too risky. But with enough Harpoon anti-ship missiles, the Bismarck would be disabled to a point where it's no longer combat effective, and it wouldn't even know where it's being hit from or by who. Now, the Duncan doesn't carry too many Harpoon missiles, so it'd be useful at detecting and safely disabling the Bismarck. If this happens, the hull would not be destroyed and the Bismarck would most likely suffer a similar fate to May 1941, where it was crippled by torpedoes and destroyed. The bottom line is this. If the HMS Duncan is sent back to World War II to fight the Bismarck, it would be very effective at detecting and disabling the Bismarck to a point where it can be easily destroyed. Thanks for watching the video. 
please don't forget to check out our video on what would happen if the Yamato faces a modern day destroyer. If you have any thoughts or comments, be sure to drop them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this, drop the video a like and share it with your friends. Again, thank you so much for watching. We're looking forward to making more incredible content, so make sure you're subscribed. And I can't wait to see you in our next video.